I am Dr. Giancarlo Bizzarri and I am the head of the Department of Diagnostic and Interventional Radiology of Regina Postolorum Hospital in Albano Laziale, Rome. I have an internationally recognized expertise in minimal invasive treatment, not only limited to thermal ablation, such as laser, radiofrequency, microwave, AI intensity for cutis ultrasound, but also in endovascular procedure. I spent part of my activity in pioneering innovative ultrasound-based techniques, such as extrahepatic image fusion, including prostate, neck, lung, and spine, with a remarkable number of publications on Eye Impact Factor Journal and over 1,700 citations, I have been leading many educational programs in Italy, Europe, and China. In the past, I had the honor to actively cooperate as tutor, advisor, and lecturer with many important hospitals in China. In terms of interventional radiology, today, our institution is considered an excellence in Italy. Eye fusion and prostate, state of the art of fusion imaging in prostatic application and perspectives. Multiparametric MRI represent a breakthrough in the diagnosis and management of prostate cancer with a sensitivity and specificity dramatically superior to transrectal ultrasound. Notwithstanding the accuracy of multiparametric MRI, Prostate biopsy is still considered the gold standard for histologic characterization and clinical management of prostate cancer. Currently, systematic transretal ultrasound guided biopsy is accepted as the technique of choice as it is friendly, well tolerated and inexpensive. As it consists of a randomized sampling, the measure limits is represented by the possibility of missing clinically significant tumors especially located in difficult prostatic area and, on the other hand, the risk of overdiagnosis of clinical significant tumors or precancerous lesion. Targeted biopsy can be performed in three different ways. In bore MRI-guided biopsy, transrectal ultrasound biopsy with cognitive uh, approach, transrectal ultrasound guided biopsy with uh, transrectal ultrasound and multiparametric MRI fusion. At first sight, in bore MRI guided biopsy could appear the best solution, but we need to consider many disadvantages and limits. The procedure is expensive, time consuming, less tolerated, and is performed mainly with a transperineal approach that is more painful and requires extensive local anesthesia or sedation. Furthermore, the procedure can be performed in a true real-time modality. Different imaging modalities can be fused with intrinsic real-time modalities, such as ultrasound, to enhance localization capability during minimal invasive procedure. The fusion procedure can be performed in two different ways. Mentally by the physician, the so-called cognitive fusion, by automatic computer-assisted co-registration with image overlapping and simultaneous visualization. We enrolled 10 patients. All the patients had a preliminary multiparametric MRI or at least biparametric MRI performed within one month of the biopsy. Resona 7 equipped with fusion imaging with an ad fire 11.3 MHz transrectal probe with both single use and the reusable biopsy kit was employed. Lateral decubitus and transrectal approach was preferred rather than transperineal approach, which however was also a possible solution with eye fusion. Preliminary MRI images were loaded onto the ultrasound scanner and evaluated with navigation software for the presence of a normal signal intensity. In this patient, two focal lesions were visualized respectively in the peripheral zone on the left and in the anterior transitional zone on the right. The two targets are recorded before performing MRI transrectal ultrasound fusion. Patient was placed on the left side, the cubitus position that was the standard position used in our institution for transrectal systematic biopsy. The support for magnetic generator was placed on the trolley 50 cm away from the perineal region. 
transrectal ultrasound guided periprostatic nerve block anesthesia was performed in all patients. The correct seepage of the solution was monitored in real time by transrectal ultrasound. The injection was performed on the right and on the left side before the co-registration of ultrasound and MRI images. Patients received a double antibiotic prophylaxis and common coagulation parameters were evaluated within one week of the procedure. We found out that special co-registration of ultrasound and MRI was better obtained overlapping the midline sagittal scan, including the urethra. The navigation modality was activated and the co-registration accuracy was evaluated using any anatomical landmark visible on both ultrasound and T2-weighted MRI images. If you are lucky, you can also check the accuracy using intraprostatic landmarks such as prostatic cysts. At least two samples were obtained from each target using a fully automatic through-cut needle. A systematic biopsy was then carried out with the same needle. In the slice, you see the needle advancing in the target lesion. In the slice, the translectal biopsy under transrectal ultrasound guidance with MRI co-registration is demonstrated. You can appreciate the good accuracy of the co-registration and again the needle in the target lesion. Again, an example of transrectal biopsy under transrectal ultrasound guidance with MRI co-registration. You can see the true cut needle inserted in the target lesion. Our preliminary experience demonstrate that targeted transrectal ultrasound guided biopsy with the MRI transrectal ultrasound fusion using an electromagnetic tracking system was introduced in the daily practice without any significant change in the current procedure for systematic transrectal ultrasound guided biopsy. A satisfactory co-registration was obtained in all cases. The time required for the transrectal MRI co-registration was in all cases less than five minutes, with an average of three minutes. The time required for each targeted biopsy is comparable to the systematic sample procedure or actually even lower if, if we consider that the MRI check before the standard transrectal ultrasound should have been performed on a separate workstation rather than in real time on the ultrasound platform, like in the case of fusion imaging transrectal ultrasound. In conclusion, transrectal ultrasound guided biopsy with MRI transrectal ultrasound fusion can be easily integrated in the clinical practice. Without any doubt, this technique will, be, will become more and more available. On the other hand, MRI transrectal ultrasound fusion biopsy do not, do not exclude the possibility of systematic biopsy depending on clinical setting and operator preference. In this way, MRI transrectal ultrasound fusion approach appears to be extremely flexible and more flexible than the in-bore MRI guided biopsy. All the aforementioned considerations can make the cost-benefit ratio of transrectal ultrasound MRI fusion biopsy superior to the in-bore MRI guided biopsy. Thank you for your attention.